Welcome back, everyone. Okay, twilight time, twilight parties, and we are going to start with invitations. But I guess I should introduce everyone first, huh? This is Susanna George. I was going to say Susanna Forsyth because I've known Susanna since she was a little girl. She and Missy grew up together. You guys, all, most of you know Missy, Homer, my daughter, and Lorna Reed from Design Elite. And so we're going to give you all kinds of ideas for a Twilight Party. And of course, you always have to start with an invitation. And Susanna is going to show us some ideas. Okay, so for a Twilight Party, you want a sassy, vampire-themed yes. invitation. <laughs> so I just came up with some. And when you're making invitations, you don't want them to take a lot of time because you have to make a bunch of them. So I came up with some, if you guys all want to hold yeah. one. Yep. I just came up with four ideas that are really simple to put together and they don't take a lot of time and I use the same four pieces of decorative paper, so pretty okay. simple. Now the camera's gonna do show one at a time, so okay. why don't you start describing that one then? All right, well I just, there's four things that you can do to make a cool Twilight um, invitation. And what the key is paper. You want to find, you know, kind of red, black, cool vampire fun looking stuff <laughs> and then I just have a couple techniques that I use to make them you know a little bit more twilighty and one of them is I ink them uh -huh. and so I just you just go around the edges like this and it gives Ooh, it that fun like inked so texture good. that's I a like little that. more dark and fun okay. and then the other thing I did is you just grab a knife and please be very careful when you get your knife <laughs> but you just want to give it this kind of rough edged texture and so you just go along it with a knife like this on the back so and you then, don't have your little kids so it'll help you with that no one. little kids she should not participate twin. in making this <laughs> she has twin little boys and then a little girl also <laughs> yeah they don't help me anyway but that gives it that fun you know kind of rough edge and then I just found lots of fun ribbon that's kind of textured and froofy and I don't know it just makes you want to celebrate Twilight I know, even more. I love these. So I mean they're gorgeous. The t these are gorgeous invitations. So anyway there you go. Some did really you, good did ideas. You buy a stamp because it has a Twilight no, and stamp. And I just I just printed it. That's just a oh, different thing. And this one oh. really easy to make. You just put the bottom in and then you put the information inside like that. This one, super easy. I just cut two lines, stack the information in. So this is all just uh, fonts from your yeah, computer? Yeah, and you just print it out and stick wow, it in. And that impressive. makes it so easy since you're making more than one. Uh -huh. You can just hurry and print them all out and slap them together and have a fun little invitation. So. Wonderful. Okay, okay, so next let's talk about decorations. Okay, Lorna, tell yeah. us. When you think about twilight, you kind of want to have have it be thematic. Yes. So what we chose is, of course, the first book has the picture of the apple on it, the mm -hmm. forbidden fruit. Right. <laughs> what, if, what we kind of understood from talking as we put this together as a design staff that if you haven't read the book, you don't understand. You don't it. get it. I know. I so, know. So, so, <laughs> so trust us. Design staff that don't understand this, that haven't read the book, I'll kind of explain it to you. Initially, you have the first book. And so you want to have everything kind of themed around apples. Apples, right. So you could, you could actually, you know, have apples as card holders. You could have, you use apples in your decor. Um, we have, we also want to do pine boughs, which we have back here with the birch balls. And that kind of is the, th we want to do with the theme of f forks in, yes. in Washington. Which That's right, really all the rain of, and yeah, the woods and all of that. Really have the weather um, kind of be part of it. Mm -hmm. Then the second one is the ribbon. Yes. So you have to have Gorgeous. you have to have the ribbon. Right here. You have to have the tulips, which we have back here too. And so you can see those behind us, the, the tulips. Okay, keep the talking. great They'll tulips. Find them. And then we have the checkerboard and the, the chess set. So we have this the queen. Is so beautiful. Isn't that fun? These it's are just gorgeous. carnations. They have fifty okay. carnations. Okay, there's the tulips, okay. The camera's showing the tulips right now. And then let's show this beautiful chess Thing. Can you believe that with carnations? It's so Just carnations, gorgeous. You put them in. You can even use a baking dish if you want. And you also have to have your queen chess oh, piece. Yes, Everybody will know what that course. means. If you yes. Yes. <laughs> if you, yes. And then, of course, you have to decorate your forks. <laughs> oh, beautiful. How clever. That is so cute. Nobody will know it if you, unless they've read the book, and then you just absolutely know what that yeah. means. <laughs> okay, and there's an open house that you have tonight? Yes, tonight. It's in Layton. It's in, on 1066 Gentile. It's the window box, and we have our holiday open house with more ideas. <gasps> how fun, how fun. Four and to six. This, this is great. Okay. Um, all right. A couple Missy, of things. Missy, what are we doing? First, I want to kind of... <laughs> 
sum a little bit up in terms of remember that when you're doing a themed party that the important thing is to take in all the details. You've got decorations, invitations, food, and everything. And if you can remember to keep true to your theme, then it becomes kind of a magical situation. And the people who appreciate it will love it. So remember, especially with the Twilight Party, you're thinking Twilight, not vampire. So stick away from like the teeth and the, the scary Halloween, because that's not your theme. And if you stick with this kind of stuff, this beautiful stuff, then uh, the people who know what they're talking about okay. will appreciate yeah, a, it. A little aside, you know, there yes. are vampires and werewolves and things like that in Twilight, but it's a love story. It is. So. And that's, that's why we love it, thing, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. So even you could have a sign that says, Welcome to Forks. And I love, with the invitation, it sets that theme. It lets yes. them know right from the beginning, oh, this is what we're going to do. This is so fun. Another thing that you could do is when they walk up to the door, when they come in, you can have body shimmer and put body shimmer on them so that everyone Ooh. becomes vampires, newborn vampires, because we all know, if you've read the books, that newborn vampires glimmer in the sun. It happens. So <laughs> little things like that that kind of set the mood and set that tone are really nice. Um, the decorations really help a lot. If you're going with the Forks theme, you can also have a, a fog machine, um, mm. you know, because it's always kind of the, the rainy and umbrellas and stuff like that. Um, with food, and I know you're doing, we're talking about some more food later, yes. but some other options are this red velvet cake. Um, it's such a nice deep red. You want to stick with reds, blacks, they're so nice. You can make one or buy one from the store if you're like me, because I just don't have time in my life. <laughs> so, so red velvet cake is great, and you have to have a red drink, you know, the blood red drink. Do you want to open that? And yes. hopefully it's not too mixed up. I'm all about simplicity. So if you want to get a red punch, ginger ale, you're good to go. Um, also, Lauren had a beautiful goblet that I broke right before we started that had... Um, a pomegranate um, drink seven in it, 7-Up. Oh. So that's a really good option too. There's other ones you could do, a can of apple juice, a can of cranberry juice, um, and ginger ale and fruit punch. And that one too is another one that you can do. Just make sure whatever fits your fancy. Um, there you go. And we're going to have more food in another segment that we're going to continue this on with Kim Warren and her daughter, who yeah. is also a dress designer. So that's a little bit later, but anyway. So anyway, because you, you, you have to have the red drink, so that's yeah. an important part of it too. Right. So it, as you're going through foods, you know, think of even just the colors are a big, a big part of it. Mm -hmm. um, and then with games and things like this, you want to think of activities that kind of fit, that, that still fit our theme. Um, so for example, if you have a group of people who really know the book, which if you're throwing a Twilight Party, party I'm sure you do, yeah, yeah. Um, a great thing is to just do um, trivia games, like, uh, the one where you pass around and you try to get everyone to guess what the word is. You can use words from the books, characters from oh. the books. You could even do it in, in you can even do it in a way where you have the, the game where you have the words that you can't say. So for oh. example, if the, if they're trying to guess Edward, then they couldn't say the word vampire or Bella or any of those kind of things. And it makes it more challenging for those of us who know and love it. Another way that you could do a trivia game is to find quotes. And if you're not, you know, if this isn't your cup of tea as much and you don't know all the tricks of the book and everything, you can look stuff like that up online, like Twilight quotes and probably find lots of them. More than you need. More than you need. <laughs> so you can do quotes and then they have to guess who said it and you can have prizes and things for the people who, who guess them right. <gasps> yes. <laughs> yes. A signed book. That's a lovely prize. <laughs> um, another option too is create um, a Bella's bracelet because in the book she has the, you know, the bracelet and she gets the charm from both of the boys and um, that's kind of a fun one, and you can do that. That might sound expensive, but you can get really cheap um, bracelet little packages that you can just put them together, or if you really want, you can do semi-precious stones and everything. So that's kind of another way. Another thing that you can do is a scavenger hunt, because in the books, there's always the, the race adventure at the end, and they're trying to get to this person and save them in time, and so that's kind of a fun way is you can do a big scavenger hunt. So those are just some ideas, but if you stick with your, with your book, stick with kind of the theme, and just make it really fun, it can be kind of a fun little party. And speaking of bracelets, um, I was just told that our designers today that we're featuring are also getting those beautiful twilight braces, bra oh. bracelets from Whimsy, if I can talk right. So, anyway, thank you, all of you. Thank this you is wonderful. Much.